So before I even start, YouTube gave me a strike and I wasn't able to upload for a full week. That's why I encourage you to join my Discord server where you get to personally chat with me and so much more. Link is in the description. So one of my viewers recommended me a video made by John Hammond in which he explained how WhatsApp was running arbitrary Python code and it was honestly very weird behavior. Since someone found this originally for Telegram, then someone tested the exact same for WhatsApp, I decided to see if Viber is prone to the same issue. So let's see here. I made a simple Python file as you can see here. This file will open a calculator if we run it. So let's drag and drop it to Viber. Viber is processing this file and once uploaded, you can click on it and see that yes, indeed, we are seeing the calculator pop up. We can run arbitrary Python code with Viber, but that's not the point of this whole video. See, John tried to use different extensions to see if they will work because prerequisite for this to work is that the victim needs to have Python installed on their machine. So I myself tried a variety of different file extensions for Windows which could execute code regularly, like nothing needs to be installed or anything, and I stumbled upon this extension. See, Viber would accept .scr or screensaver extension normally, which is very, and I mean very concerning. But let me explain to you how this extension even works. See, here is a test.exe program which once ran will open a calculator. Now, when I drag and drop it to Viber, it obviously won't work. Viber has thought about this and they just don't accept it. But if I change the extension to .scr and then try to run the file again, as you can see, it runs just as normally as before. So if I try to drag and drop it to Viber, as you can see, it will work. And after I click on it, you can see that the calculator will pop up. So now, victim doesn't even have to have anything installed. All the victim needs to have is a Windows machine and the Viber installed on it. That's literally it. I did notify Viber about this issue and hopefully they fix it. But I highly, and I mean highly recommend you share this video so that more and more people know about this and it becomes mainstream. Since this issue is not something we should sleep on. Remember, Viber is not a small program. It has a lot of downloads and a lot of people are at risk. It's only a matter of time when scammers discover this and Viber's user base is cooked. So please share this to your friends so that they know that this issue exists so they can avoid clicking on files on Viber. I would really appreciate a subscribe since I tend to put out more educational content like this one. Again, I discovered this issue for Viber and decided to share with my audience. Hopefully it won't be removed since this video is purely educational and it's there to help you avoid these kinds of issues. Thank you so much for watching. Also, thank you so much for all the support, especially the one I got from my Discord members. And I will see you tomorrow, I think, with brand new videos. So goodbye.